good morning guys welcome back to the vlog so today we're supposed to get discharged from the hospital it's still pretty early in the morning the doctors haven't done their rounds today but i think the doctor said that they're going to remove her pick line when they come here for her rounds um so that's like the main thing we need to get done in order for us to get discharged so hopefully it happens sooner rather than later but i'm thinking it will happen like when they usually do their morning rounds which is like between 9 and 11 o'clock ish usually so depending on what time they come is when we'll be out of here and i'm so excited to go home see your doggos it's gonna be crazy we've almost had her here longer than we had her home so you know now we're used to this routine and she's used to this routine and now we have to revert back to a home routine so that's gonna be a little bit of work but i'm so excited to be home and just to be home literally that's like the most thing important thing so aren't you ready huh steep in your own bassinet and have no one touch her while she sleeps in the middle of the night no vital signs or nothing they just took out her pick line so now we're just waiting for the doctor to come in since it's saturday i don't even know if she's here yet she wasn't here when they took out her pick line to put in the orders to discharge us so we're just patiently impatiently waiting for the doctor to show up so we can go home we are going home yeah oh you excited to go home yeah you are let's go home guess where we are she's sleeping so we're not gonna mess with her but we are finally home and it actually looks a little different in here for you guys probably because we got a new couch i actually told you guys that we ordered a new couch before all this happened like i think i was so pregnant with her when we actually found this couch and we're put on a waiting list for it and then that didn't work out so we just ordered it online once it became available to order online and then we had more problems with it and finally we got it so yeah it's gonna look a little different in here but we're doing a lot of house chores today cleaning up the house mauricio is going to mow the lawn but the Air Force Base is doing like a controlled burn. Um, so gone. there's a lot of ash. Oh, so you might do it later. Yeah, maybe in the evening when it cools off. Yeah, when all the ashes settle down to the bottom. And look at my baby, we're so excited to see us. Yes, she needs a bath really bad. Dixie got one yesterday when I came home and cleaned up the house for a little bit. I came home and I immediately took her outside to give her a bath because she was so bad. Um, she needed one. Harley, on the other hand, doesn't absolutely need one, but she does need one for, like, flea medication purposes and stuff. And we don't want her stinky booty on this clean couch, even though she's already on it. I can't believe how gray she is. Like, I've had her since she was about three years old, and she was not gray when I got her. And now, I would put a picture here, but, like, they're, like, middle school or high school Amanda pictures. They're, like, really bad quality. Um, but maybe I can find a good one of her with no gray. And you you decided to have your mama's home. And Lilia did really good in the car. We had to pick up a bunch of her medicine from Walmart on the way home. And so she got fussy there and I had to feed her. But now it's like literally I just have so much laundry to do. And I want to clean the floors because they're bad. My feet are almost black already. But just picking up and kind of reorganizing the living room. Because I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's a mess. It's a mess. So don't mind it. But... This is what we're working with. So it's a complete mess, but it looks so much better. I can't decide if I want to keep the couch this way and keep the TV this way or turn the couch so the shorter side, so that has three seats. This has like two seats, technically three, but the way it like corners of it might make sense. There's two coming out and three coming out on this side. I don't know if it would look better if I put the that side on that side so there's only three seats on that wall and then this long piece long four piece comes out this way and then the tv would be here but i don't know i don't know how i feel about that because then i mean it's not too bad i mean it wouldn't necessarily close off the house i feel like it would open it up a little bit but it would just kind of close off this to our room which is not a bad thing i don't know what we're gonna do yet but i'm probably not gonna do anything until we are ready to paint because there's going to be some pretty um big holes in the wall right here from the tv that i would have to patch and stuff and i just don't want to have like the patches on the walls without painting over them if that makes sense but 
yeah we're just gonna chill the rest of the day do some housework i really don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna cook we're gonna cook a home cooked meal and eat it at home we had some home cooked meals for my mom when she was here but um we haven't had a home cooked meal at home since like the day before we went in the hospital because we went in the hospital in the morning so it was, uh, roasted, chicken. roasted chicken i was say yeah it's been a long time since we ate here and we've literally been only eating fast food oh i had to go to urgent care while we were at the um hospital because i just had like this little wound on my under boob area and since i breastfeed her i want to make sure it wasn't infected because i'm paranoid anyways um what was i just gonna say you're on the same antibiotics as she is no no I lost my train of thought and I don't know what I was gonna say, but if I am watching over these clips and I remember, I will insert like an extra clip of me saying it right here. But that makes me so mad. But no, I did not find my phone. I need to find it. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the irony official morning guys we are home our first morning in our home um, since she got sick she's mad what no Tom no ma'am no ma'am thank you thank you um so it's been nice being home we've been organizing the house um, and just cleaning up a little bit and getting everything where we want it since we have a lot more furniture now in the house so and i finally ordered a couple things that we've been needing like cable cable hiders yeah cable hiders and i got some vinyl for the stereos for his stereos so that they match the white oak instead of the dark brown oak um and yes i asked him if i could do it i just didn't assume um and we got something I got a keyboard off Amazon. This is all from Amazon. So hopefully it will be here. I think it said on like Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. But we have basically everything organized the way I want it. Except for I just walked through the front door and the recliner is kind of like obnoxiously in front of the front door. So if someone was to come through the front door, it would be like really, really crowded um, if it was more than one person. So I might try to rearrange it so that the recliner can fit easier somewhere else. Um, but I might just have to move it up a little bit and then that will fix the problem. But... We're just chilling. Sherry took her nap, her first nap for the day, and now she's up. We were going, I don't know why she has her fists. Oh, they're relaxed fists. They're not actual fists. Um, but we were going to go to T-Mobile because I apparently leased my phone, which I wasn't aware, so I have to take action by the 5th. We were going to do that today, but my sister is switching to Verizon, and we're all in like a family plan, so I'm waiting for them to fix to do all that before i go in there and add him to my phone plan and we can become together and stuff like that just kind of like adult things that we need to do that we haven't done since she's been in the hospital but i'm so glad we're home she has the cutest little outfit on hopefully you guys will see it later it's kind of hard and it's kind of bright and i also have spots on my glasses that are bugging me this is the couch by the way like it's not something weird um but yeah, that's basically what we've been doing all day, I think. Um, I don't know if we're going to go anywhere today. I don't really think so. I think we're just going to chill at home. 
you just want to chill at home i really need to clean her room it's so so bad but this is what i've done so far with the living room i'll kind of show you guys it's still a mess because you guys know when you're decorating and you're cleaning but you also live in it at the same time like you just never never gets clean that's kind of how i feel right now is that i'm cleaning and organizing but i'm also living in it with a baby and you know two adults so it feels like it's always going to be messy but trying not to drop the baby or the camera neither needs to be dropped so i'm kind of going for like a um uh, i think it's called coastal farmhouse vibe in the cat in the house so th see like what i'm talking about with the recliner and the door it's just kind of claustrophobic when you first walk in obviously that chair right there is not going to be there the, like my dad's chair but that's just where mauricio put it for now i do plan on getting a circular coffee table i think it would fill out the space a little bit more or one of those ottomans um like a huge like ottoman that suits as a coffee table too and then i want it to either be the color of i want it to be that color i don't know what i'm talking about i want it to be that white oak color and then mauricio wants a little side table right here which i don't blame him which we're also going to try to find in white oak i'm hoping that maybe we'll be able to find like matching coffee table and inside table and match it to that color um we are doing our nighttime routine with baby girl since we've been home oh my gosh lighting's bad he's so cute hi baby how is your bath baby say good but give me my jimmies i'm cold i'm mm, say so everything set out huh why you get some fists i fed you before your bath i top you off before we go to bed huh Now you look like a boy. Oh, that's mean. Her hair. She am a baby girl. Her hair still reminds me of your mom. Doesn't it? Can you smile? She goes, no, I got my baby in my mouth, mom. Her swallow's right there too. Where? Right mm -hmm. there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh -huh. Zaboo. Are you ready for belly bye? Say, yeah, once you feed me, peasant. Yeah, once you feed me, peasant. Oh. Once you feed me. You're so cute, huh? You're so cute. Can you say hi? Yeah, you could say hi. You could say hi. Well, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this video right here. We had such a relaxing day, and we're so happy to finally be home with our healthy, precious little baby girl. Huh? Yes, our healthy, precious little baby girl. But I'm going to go ahead and top her off, and we're going to put her to bed, and we're going to go to bed ourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys. Get my hair. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh my god, it's even worse. Wait, mom, you didn't let me say bye. Say bye. <gasps> bye. Oh, here you are, face to face in this tragic.